Today at shopdap.com, we'll be going over how to change your oil using an oil extractor. We're here with Kyle, the winner of our giveaway for the European Experience oil change giveaway. We're giving away the oil extractor itself and some other tools. And so Kyle was the winner of the group. So congratulations, Kyle. Thank you. And let's get into our install. Okay, so to start this install, we're gonna remove our engine cover and get that out of the way. We can now take our oil cap off. I always like to do that when I'm changing oil just to make sure you, re you know to fill it back up. And then with an oil extractor, you're gonna actually draining it from the dipstick itself. So you can just take the dipstick out, get it out of the way. Oftentimes you might wanna check your oil before doing it just to make sure you don't have an oil burning issue or something like that. Uh, but we're going ahead and take this, stick it down in there. This actually comes with this metal uh, support. This is how it helps the uh, tube have, stay rigid while you're sticking it down into the tube. So you can stick it down in there, wait for you so you feel it stop, maybe back up a little bit, and then you can kind of pull this out. And then all you're gonna do is attach this hose to here and start pumping. And you'll see, as you're doing it, the oil's gonna be coming up. You might wanna wiggle it around a little bit, make sure you don't, it's not stuck on anything if you don't see it continue to kind of come up. And you, won't want, you don't want stone cold oil when you're doing this because it's not gonna flow very easily. So you might wanna have a semi, at least semi warm engine. I wouldn't recommend too hot, but. And you can kind of watch based on what you expect the fluid level to be in the vehicle, which this car is gonna be just around, I think it's about 5.8. Uh, so you should, can look at the lines on here to see how much you've actually drained out to verify when you're close to empty or when the, when the vehicle's close to empty before you can finish uh, the pumping. So as we're, as we're getting to the end, you'll start to see a lot of air bubbles come through as the line starts to cavitate. You can move it up and down to make sure that you're actually all the way down. We're, we're just above five and a half liters, which is gonna be our line. This is five and a half right at this seam here. So uh, since that's the case, we're pretty much done. So all we need to do is change our filter and then fill our oil. So now that the oil is drained out of the vehicle, we can change our filter. 32 millimeter socket, which we will have linked in the description. All you gotta do is crack it loose. And because we drained the oil already, it shouldn't be too messy in there. So now, give a little shake, make sure any drips get out and, and pull it out like so. And all we're gonna do is pop the filter out, pull it out, and swap our new filter in. So an important part when you're changing the oil on a car is you have your filter, and then we have the seal. Now, this seal needs to be changed every time you swap your new oil filter on. So we're gonna take a knife here real quick, and you can just kind of stick it in there, and then pop it over, and then install your new one. So easy as that you will need a screwdriver or a knife or any anything that will really get down around there should be able to help you get that in place now that we're installing our new filter all we do is slide it over and then pop it down and we can torque it back in place 
Now we're gonna tighten down our oil filter. There are specs on top of the housing itself, which you'll find, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down. We don't have a torque wrench with us because again, we're doing this at a car show. It's not really a necessity for, for people who are experienced with this, uh, but it is stamped on the back of the filter housing. And so we're just gonna snug it up. You don't wanna go too crazy when you're tightening oil filters because you'll have a tough time getting it off and you can potentially crack the housing if you over tighten it. So just something to be careful of. Now we're ready to fill our oil. Now we're gonna fill the oil, start put the dipstick back in first because obviously we had that out. And now we're ready to fill. Now what we're working with is this new filler that we have not available yet, but it will be very soon. So we'll have a link to that uh, here where you can check that out. And basically this is for Mark 7s, this adapter. This would be for older model VWs. Pretty much every model before this use an oil filter like that. And all this does is snap in place so that you don't make a mess and it's a lot easier filling your oil with something like this. So because we have Mark 7, we have this adapter. All you do is stick that in place like so and then snug it down. And then we take this and lock it in place. So we're gonna stick that in and lock that in place. And now we're ready to fill our oil. Motul has actually pretty good setups here. All you do is take off the cap and you see it has a fill spout that you can do, which will make your life a lot easier when you're filling the oil. It has a double thing that you have to tear off. And then all we're gonna do is fill it in there. Okay, now that we've finished filling this five liters, because this vehicle is gonna take around 5.7, 5.8, uh, we're gonna check the oil, because again, we don't know exactly how much we got out, so you wanna make sure you just don't overfill it. So what you wanna do is put in your five liter, then check it, then slowly fill with the one liter until you're actually full. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now, uh, but before we do that, we're actually gonna start the engine to get the oil pumped through the car. That way, the oil filter housing is full in all the places that's been drained out of. So give us one sec, we're gonna put that oil cap on and we're gonna start it up. All right. Okay, so we started up, we're gonna lock our filter back in place and then we're gonna check oil. If you take a look, here's where our oil is. We have the checkered part. We wanna get up to the top of the checkered part and so we need to fill a little bit more. Based on what I'm seeing, it's probably maybe around half a quart to a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that up, use about half the bottle we got, and then check it again. All right, and now we're all full, so we are good to go. Thank you so much, Kyle, for letting us use your vehicle. Thank you. We appreciate it very much. And uh, again, congrats on the oil extractor and the funnel. Thank you so much for watching our DIY on how to change oil using an oil extractor. Remember, purchases for parts like this or any others help support videos just like this one. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. How are you feeling? Is it uh, pretty hot out here? Whew. My goodness, it is, it is something else. Who decided they were gonna shoot video of a DIY in the sun in, in, in Savannah, Georgia? Ah, they are an idiot, whoever did. They are truly an idiot.